Tokyo foreground sword to one requesting taxi. Sword to one, you are cleared for taxi to runway. Sword to one. Hold position until runway available. Departure, Sword 21, departing from runway 28. Sword 21, turn heading 250, climb flight level 200. 250, climb level 200, Sword 21.
421, continue on heading 250. Sword 1-1, one one, Sword 2-1 approaching RV point. Copy 2-1, Sword Flight form up, we're pushing for waypoint 2, Angels 2-5. Forrest, I want your element in one mile trail. Sword 2-1.
To our left is Syria. The border is visible at our 10 o'clock, clearly marked by the farm that runs parallel to the road running northeast. The long, thin lake at 11 o'clock lies within the Jordanian side of the border, so it's a useful landmark to reference. The Jordans are deployed quite heavily in this area. Not surprising, considering what's going on down in Syria. They're also maintaining a cap of F-16s around the clock. Our 3 o'clock is a large lake. This lake is around 6 miles north of H4 and it's another useful reference point to help orient yourself to home. As we return to H4, we'll use two initial points to approach the base. Approach Alpha is a wind farm near a small lake. You might have seen it off to our right as we made the low-level departure from runway 28. Approach Bravo might just be visible in the distance beyond the lake. It's a shale oil facility, usually easy enough to ID from all the smoke it's kicking out. It's the smoke to the left as we look at it. The smoke to the right is from a factory complex in Ruwaysh. Other than scattered settlements and industry, that's about all there is to see out here. Sure is remote. What an assignment. Miles and miles of flat desert. We'll be dying to get in this area just to see some scenery. Never mind the action. Well, there'll be plenty of that to go around before long, I'm sure. Syrian SAMs keep coming up when the JSTF is around the no-fly zone. We'll be needed up north before long, I'm sure. Ha, <laughs> no doubt. Since then, it's been abandoned and left in the desert. 
Yep, and now it's our turn. Let's see if we can't add a few more craters to the landscape, huh? I like the enthusiasm. I'm sure we will. Quite a situation we find ourselves in over here. The Syrians, the SIA, the Russians, the GSTF. What happened to clear front lines in an obvious enemy? Uh, quite a mess we find ourselves in over here. Well, Syria certainly got its problems, but at least our primary mission is clear enough. Oh yeah, blowing up sand. That's what we do best. Whole thing seems pretty rushed though. The six of us are the only dedicated weasels out here. And we're the last of the party. Sounds like we've got a no-fly zone that we're struggling to enforce right now. We're supposed to be the first in, remember? You'll get no argument from me, Rotor, but we're here now. What's with this Operation Jackal that just kicked off? I didn't catch all the details. It's the start of a big push against the SIA. We're moving from a more reactive CAS mindset to a more aggressive footing, targeting more strategic SIA assets such as economic and logistic targets. Expect we'll be out over the Euphrates for too long then. Wouldn't bet against it. Sure would be pleased to get a chance to say hi to the SIA. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. We thought it'd be rockets. Some old Soviet junk. Probably barely even know how to use that stuff. Well, SE8s and 6s. Older but still dangerous in the right hands. I guess that's the big question. Can they operate them competently? Well, we'll find out before too long, I'm sure. And I know who my money's on. Flight of 4F-16, checking in as Bragg on approach to Sparky. 
Copy, Sword One. Range is clear and Sergeant Suspect. You are cleared for unrestricted flight within the AO. Weapons released within the range have been authorized. Monitor this frequency at all times. Game flaps to occur kills and blue units to deem evasive measures to be inadequate. Copy all, Games Master. Sword is proceeding. Sword 2, go combat spread one mile left. Sword 2 1. Remember what we briefed. Once engaged by the SA-2, Sword 1 will break south and stay high on the edge of the threat ring. Sword 2 will break north and dive for the deck. Watch your spacing and keep track of your wingman. Flight sent in. Defending SA-2.
Local Ops, Lord 1, defending SA-2. Sword 
One, two, ready.
Eagles are two on a rally. Four two two at rally point. Ford one one at rally. Ford flight then south. Push waypoint six. Angel two five. Okay, we're inbound on H4. 
I've done this approach more than the rest of you. Sword 2 1, I want you to take the lead and bring us on in. First step is to declare to H4 approach that we're inbound. Typically, do this around 50 miles out and before you reach the 30 mile boundary of H4 control airspace. Do it now, I'll follow you in. Hotel 4 approach, sword to 1 inbound. Sword 2 1, proceed to Hotel 4 airspace. Check in at flight level 160. Push to wrap call arrival at 30 mile mark. Flight level 160, Sword 2 1. Okay, Sword 2 1, proceed to H4 airspace. You want to be at Angel 16, 30 miles out from H4. TAC N for H4 is 125 X ray. You're entering H4 airspace now. Push to H4 arrival and declare your flight. Hotel 4 arrival, Sword 21 entering Hotel 4 airspace. Sword 21, cleared for approach Bravo. I just altitude to flight level 160. Approach Bravo, flight level 160, Sword 2-1. Okay, Sword 2-1, we're cleared in on approach Bravo at Angels 1-6. Bravo is the oil facility that's smoking in the distance. You'll also find it listed as waypoint 8 in your flight plan. Bravo is our safe approach to pattern airspace, so make sure you don't deviate. We have traffic ahead. Clear to enter pattern. Flight level 080. Flight level 080. Sword 21. Sword 21, take us down to Angel Gate and feed us into the pattern. Make sure you avoid overflying Ruwaish below 7,500 feet MSL. The Jordanians have a noise restriction in place over the town. Hold in the pattern until we're cleared to push to the tower. Hey look, we had a pair of Apaches inbound from the west. The Army's ramp sure is getting crowded.
Sword 2 1, exit pattern and push the tower. Sword 2 1. Okay, Sword 2 1, switch the tower free can get us cleared to land. Hotel 4 Tower, Sword 2 1 requesting landing. Sword 2 1, cleared for landing runway 10, wind 300 for 4 knots. Sword 2 1, go ahead and land. We'll follow you down once you clear the runway. Good flying, good day, everyone. See you in debris. Two one, clear runway and proceed to spot eight. <laughs> 